hi guys welcome back to Android tutorial in this part of this tutorial I am going to explain what are the life cycle of an activity in Android an activity is going through a number of methods during its life cycle here I am going to demonstrate what are the life cycle that an activity go through its lifespan okay here is the life cycle graph of an activity or we know that when an activity is created it will call the on create method after call the on create method the activity is just created after executing the on create method the system will call the on start method and after executing the on start method actually the activity is visible to the user also one more method is present there before the activity is coming to the foreground the system will call the on resume method soon after the on start method after executing the on resume method then only the activity is completely visible to the user that means the activity is resumed and it is ready for interacting with the user okay if an activity is paused or if an interrupt or other application may interrupt the activity then the system will call <coughs> automatically the on post method and during the on post method the activity is partially visible for example if you open up an activity then a call is then an incoming call is coming then the activity is paused at that time you can see that the act the running activity is partially visible to the user and after closing the current activity the post activity will automatically invoke the on resume method that means the system will invoke the on resume method for the post activity then it resume again if a user close the activity then first upon it will call the on post method then it will call the on stop method only after that it is hidden from the user finally the system will call the on destroy method and the activity is completely removed from the system if an activity is on stop that means an activity is stopped and it is not destroyed we have to restart the method by calling the on restart method after soon the on restart method called up it will call the on start then again it is visible to the user okay guys now I am going to explain all these things by using an example so just open up the Eclipse IDE here I created a new project called lifecycle demo in the activity Java file you can see that the on create method is automatically generated by the IDE itself you can see there is no other methods are present in this Java class file now I am going to demonstrate each of that lifecycle activity methods in this class so first of all I am just going to create a method called public void display it has a string argument I just created toss here get the base context and display the message here and I make the duration as long and make the toss visible okay now I am going to create the on start method here public void and you have to call the superclass method here 
on start okay now I just call the display method display from on start method okay I just save the program and now I'm going to run it wait for the application to load on the AVD okay we can see that the activity is enabled and a toast is appear again I just start the activity again here is the activity icon you can see that a toast is appear here from on start method that means the activity is invoke the on start method I again I just invoke the I just create a message on the on create method display from on create method now I am going to create the on resume method super dot on resume from the on resume method again I save the program now I'm going to run it again okay we can see that first upon from on create method then it invoke the on start method finally it invoke the on resume method after executing all this method the activity is actually coming to fall ground whenever the user start the activity first upon it will invoke the on create method then it will invoke the on start method and finally it invoke the on resume method after only that the activity is actually coming to the fall ground okay guys thank you for watching I continue this section that means the life cycle section in the coming up part of this tutorial please subscribe my channel for further video updates see you in the next part of this tutorial